Hey everyone, it's uh, almost that time of year again, Inktober! And everyone online is getting super into it and it's really exciting. It's going to be my second year this year doing Inktober and I'm going to be doing the theme Endangered Animals, which I'm really looking forward to doing. So most of you guys probably know what Inktober is. Um, there's so many videos out there on YouTube that explain it in a lot of detail and answer all the questions and stuff, so I'll leave some links below. Um, one that came out yesterday was from Miriam Tilson and she did a really awesome in-depth video on Inktober and she's got a great little pep talk at the end so I'll leave that link below as well as um, a link to Jake Parker the creator he's got a really cool podcast and he used to do videos on YouTube he doesn't do them so much anymore but his videos were really fun so for Inktober I'm going to be doing endangered animals one of the reasons I'm doing this is because I really want to practice drawing animals in general and also because I'm running my first marathon next year and I'm going to be raising money for the WWF so I thought I could do some research on the different animals that hopefully the money I raise will be going towards helping. So this is just a little tuna I'm drawing, not the most exciting of the animals, but I figured I'd start with some easy ones in the first couple of weeks of October because I'm going to be really busy at work. So I did some little tuna sketches to start testing out the new inks I brought. And for Inktober I'm going to be actually using squares of watercolour paper that I cut out. So I cut out some bigger ones and some little mini ones from the spare paper I had left over. And then I brought a bunch of inks because last year I did it all in black and white and this year I really want to try coloured coloured inks. So the first inks I brought were these Pentel brush pens and I brought them in four colours, so I have a grey, a sepia, a blue and a red, and I love the combination of these colours. I think these colours would go so well together if I was going to be doing like really cool graphical stylized animals, but since I'm just learning how to draw the animals in the first place, I don't want to go too crazy and try to stylize stuff. And these brush pens are kind of hard to use sometimes, I find, but these colours are so gorgeous together, don't you think? So one thing I really want to improve on this year is working on using a paintbrush, an actual paintbrush. So I brought a couple of liquid inks that you use just with a paintbrush or a dip pen or something like that. The first set are these Liquitex muted acrylic inks. And I really love muted colours. I, lo I love all colours, but I really am um, getting into muted colours lately. And these were recommended by a few people online. So I thought I would take the plunge and buy them. They're quite expensive. I think they're about £30. I'm not sure. But look at those colours, like they're so beautiful together and they mix so nicely together. You can get a really nice range. The only thing I would say about these colours is I don't think you'd get the best contrast with them. So if I were to use these, I would probably mix in a little bit of black too. So really I didn't know what I wanted to do for Inktober, so I just went a little bit crazy on Amazon and I brought a whole bunch of stuff. And then the last set of inks I brought were the Winsor & Newton, it was the William collection. So there's eight colours there. And the thing I noticed the first about the William, well, about these inks in general, were they are so colourful. They're almost like saturated watercolour. Like I have some watercolour inks and these remind me of that. They're really staining, so I found them quite hard to um, do gradients or anything with them. And here I'm practicing a little bit of line work. So I definitely am going to improve on that this month, which will be awesome because I'm quite heavy handed with a paintbrush. So I think if I was going to use these inks, I'd probably mix them quite a bit because on their own, the colors are super colorful, but when you do start mixing them together, you can kind of tone them down a little bit, which is nice. And they do, mix quite nicely on the page together when they're wet. Half of me thinks that I really should just be doing it in black and white because that's kind of, I don't know, old school Inktober, but 
I want to try colour this year and I'm doing animals and some of those animals have lovely colours so I'm giving myself a break. So I did these three little sketches of the fishies and I'm going to try each of the inks. I'm not quite sure what style I'm going to go for in October. Um, I think I'm just going to wing it and hope for the best. I'm sure by the last week, if I'm still doing it, I would have come up with a style that I like, which is what happened last year. And then I can continue on and hopefully do some more little, little um, ink sketches. So I'm kind of using Inktober as a warm up to learn how to draw animals and also to learn how to use inks, I guess. So I am trying the Pentel brush pens. I really loved the grey and then when you use water to make the like really lovely little gradient there as soon as I put the blue on I was like whoa this is way too bright I think that's the problem with these pens like you'd have to go in really bold have a really bold graphical style otherwise it's just gonna look it's just gonna look cheap in my personal opinion I think another thing that I think if you if I was to use these pens for Inktober, I don't think I would be comfortable using a brush to um, water them down because I kind of feel like using a brush pen is kind of an art in itself. I don't know. It kind of feels like I'd be weakening it a bit. So I did that little red circle around it. I really didn't like it. I thought it was very ugly. So I thought I'd save it with some outliners. Um, another reason I don't want to use these, I've decided not to use these brushes, Thinktober, is because I don't want to do outlines if I can help it in pen. I really want to try and learn how to use a paintbrush properly. So I did this as like an easy way out to make it, you know, look a little bit nicer. But I did a lot of pen work last year and this year I really want to do brush work. So I did try these guys. I do love them. I love the colours, but not for this month. And then next I tried the Winsor & Newton. So the problem is with choosing coloured pen, coloured inks that I found, is I really want to have like a limited colour palette to so all the like illustrations look the same, but then all the animals are completely different colours. So some of them I'm going to have to use like a little bit of artistic create, artistic license, you know? So this one here for example, I mean that blue is very blue. I don't think a tuna, oh this is a tuna by the way, a blue fin tuna. I don't think a tuna would be that blue in real life. So I am attempting to do some skinny outlines here and I'm not sure if you can see but my paintbrush there, this is the first time I've used it, I brought it maybe a month ago. And all the bristles are coming apart at the ends, it's all like splayed. I don't know if it happened, I don't know if it's just because I'm clumsy and I just throw brushes around or if it was like that when I brought it. But I'm just going to have to work with it. People have given me some tips on how to hopefully get the bristles back into shape. So I'll give that a try. But I was quite pleased with this little brush work. I mean, it's a bit unsteady and a bit wibbly wobbly, but it's not too bad for a first time. I think the best thing about Inktober is kind of that atmosphere of improvement, you know, like everyone's just trying to improve and looking back and seeing how you've improved is, is awesome. So I'm looking forward to it. I think the month's going to be really challenging, especially because the first half of the month I have a crazy, crazy project at work that is going to eat up all of my time, which is why I'm choosing easy animals for the first couple of weeks. Um, but I hope, I hope I get it finished. I did finish it last year. And I have been talking, but I have added some Windsor & Newton gold ink, which frustrates me because you have to stir it for about 700 hours and then it's still really watery at the top. Yeah. Anyway, that was the second one. I actually really love the colours in this one. It's very bright, but the inks are quite nice to use. And then moving on to the last set of inks, the muted acrylic liquitex acrylic muted inks that's the official name 
So I think these ones blend in a little bit nicer than the Winsor & Newton and I feel like they don't stain as much. You can move them around the page a little bit more than you can the Winsor & Newton. Um, one thing that I mentioned before is about contrast and I'm really worried because some of the colours are quite similar so they might have kind of like a blending in like not really being able to differentiate between one colour and another colour. So if I was to use these I would add black ink which I think I do at the end for the outlining. But that blue colour is gorgeous. It's like my favourite colour of the entire thing. Oh, so here I am mixing the black ink, so Winsor & Newton black ink, in with those Liquitex colours to do a little bit of outlining. And I definitely think these colours need outlining because I, well, maybe other people can do it, but I couldn't get the darkness that I needed. Like, I felt like the darkest it could be was still kind of light. And as I said before, I do want to get better at outlining and using a paintbrush. So I think I'm actually going to use these inks, the muted inks. Um, to be honest, just between you and me, I kind of knew I was going to use these to begin with. I just wanted to test out the other ones. Um, I just, I've wanted to use these for so long and I just love the colour so much. I think it's going to be a bit of a struggle using them on some animals, like a tiger. I mean, what colour am I going to use? It's going to be a pink tiger, but I think we'll get around it. And I'm definitely going to use some Winsor & Newton gold just for... I'm not sure if I'm going to do them all in circles. I'm thinking maybe like different shapes and stuff depending. I'm not sure. But yeah, that is uh, my little Inktober testing and some prep work. What are you guys doing for Inktober? Uh, you doing inky stuff? You getting inky, huh? And these are the three together. I still like the middle one. Maybe I'm changing my mind. No. No, don't change it. I'm going to stick with the muted colours. <laughs> anyway, that was my Inktober prep. I hope you enjoyed watching that little inkiness. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.